day two at the home office and um, reality is setting in that this is going to be a challenge and it's, it's going to take some time to get back on track. Being in the house with four teenagers is, uh, is interesting. Admittedly, we didn't do our meditation this morning and, and stress was running high for everyone trying to figure out their tasks. But I think stress is starting to run high for everybody. I surfed the social media channels this morning and, and there's conspiracy theories abound. Everybody is uh, coming up with new reasons and explanations for why this is happening. Let's keep it simple. It's happening because Mother Nature operates in ways that are sometimes mysterious to all of us and this virus is going to spread uh, and we are just trying to slow it down. And um, Right now, if you're hearing that there are about a thousand cases in New York and 10 to 12 deaths, it may not seem staggering. And um, while that's true and we're very happy about that current level, we also know that things can change quickly and that this is going to take some time to filter through the population in a way that's controllable and that won't overwhelm our system. So stay the course and uh, don't get caught up in the hype. Um, as far as stress goes, uh, Headspace is offering a free subscription to physicians. I know that the stress of being a physician in this type of an environment is, is interesting. Friends have asked about you know, what will happen if I get called into work and uh, have to go into the emergency room or urgent care. Um, we'll do it. We'll, we'll deal with it. And um, we're, we're trained for this. And, um, and we're going to take care of people who need to be taken care of. Right now we're doing that by telehealth and that seems to be going well. We had a bunch of visits yesterday and our department is uh, operating together to uh, make sure that urgent and emergent cases are funneled through to a, a skeleton crew that's staffing some of our offices. And that's a, um, a policy that I think other medical centers are using as well. So there is medical care available to you. There's um, some increasing buzz about drive-through testing centers and that's going to happen. So keep your ear to the railroad tracks about that. Uh, as far as exercise, uh, an area that I, I like to talk about, the sun is shining here in New York, it's beautiful. I haven't been outside yet, but given the level of stress in this house, I think that after this, we're gonna go for a little run and uh, maybe do some light exercise. The question as to whether it's safe to go outside uh, it brings to light the fact that there are some extremes that are happening here. People who think that nothing needs to be done and we don't have to take any precautions and others who think that we need to be wearing hazmat suits and, and lock ourselves in the closet. Um, the truth is always somewhere in the middle. So uh, you can go for a run, you can go for a bike, you can do things outdoors, be careful. Now's not a great time to be in the hospital with a trauma and uh, have to deal with that. But uh, you know that's why our orthopedic surgeons are, and, and myself and sports medicine are available. But let's try not to, to do things that are too risky. Let's exercise in a, in a light controlled way. Uh, and social distancing rules in place, you know, and uh, if you have to go to work and, and you have to serve the community in some capacity, keep food on the shelves, make sure you wash your hands, don't touch your face, practice social distancing, um, distancing, uh, touch elbows as uh, you see the president doing in his press conferences and uh, stay healthy, be well. If you have any questions or, or things you'd like me to, to bring up in these posts, please, uh, please um, reach out post a comment below and I look forward to seeing you all soon.